28 years ago, Andy Warhol collaborated with Absolute, and now Absolute will collaborate with Andy Warhol once again. We will channel his spirit, and together with the DJs and the artists, we will create something that is totally new. As Warhol said, art is what you can get away with. The cultural climate at the present time now, in certain ways, kind of echoes what was going on in New York in the 80s. And in the last few years, there's been a lot of like collaboration and cross-pollination between certain artists. Warhol took from the bottle and made a painting, and now Absolute is bringing it back to a bottle. And to announce it with such a creative launch event is really a fantastic way to do it. Warhol's place in art history is pretty well secured as one of the most important artists of the 20th century. But what I think this event underscores is that his influence in the 21st century continues to grow. EVP means electronic voice phenomena. I record what is happening, and then I go changing the tone, frequencies, trying to pull out the voice. I was invited by Absolute to communicate with the spirit of Andy Warhol using my EVP machine. I was not familiar with EVP technology before, but that's the kind of thing that kind of piqued my interest. I, I don't want to only do the same kinds of gigs. So when someone approaches me with something like this, I'm just game. Like, you know, throw me in the ring, let's go. Absolute came to us and gave us this great opportunity and now we have a playground to develop our ideas and concepts. It's kind of an unusual idea to work with a dead artist and it was a challenge to use the bottles as a canvas, but we will use them as kind of a pixel and a big installation where every bottle will become one light point. So we hang them in a grid from the ceiling and put light beams on them. Lives and Atrix sounds are our direct input that drive our computer system. We three are always interacting together and at one point even the audience will be part of this. Yeah.